This is Jason Verney's podcast. I am Jason Verney. In this podcast, I want to talk about the film Certain Women. This is a film which has been, which was selected for uh, quite a few festivals, um, uh, f- festival sort of award selections, I believe, um, including Sundance, uh, Toronto. New York Film Festival, I think, and quite a few others. Um, Now, it's probably not a film for everybody. Perhaps its slowness is not going to be everyone's cup of tea. I I guess in some ways you could compare some of its style to Manchester by the Sea. It's not as long as that film, and it's also even, even less gripping... You, in some in some ways than Manchester by the Sea, I mean uh, that that film itself, for me as I mentioned in a previous podcast, it, it was there was a turning point in that film where it it kind of did wake me up and I did get into it. Um, in certain women, you just have to give this film time. But it, the good thing is about it is that it covers four different characters, um, so you you know that there's the, these there's going to be different stories. It's not going to be one story all the way through the film. Um, that said, the the, the stories um, do actually vaguely um, intertwine, or they kind of... They do touch on one another. Um, I don't want to say anything more about that, but it will be clear when you see the film. Um, the director of this film is Kelly Reichard. I believe that's how you say it. Um, but these three stories which it essentially has taken are actually from short stories by uh, the writer. Um, the writer being, um, bear with me one second, Meloy, that's it, sorry, <laughs> I can't remember. Uh, from, I think it's Malay uh, Meloy, or Meili Meloy. So there's three stories that the director chose from this, this Meili Meloy's writings. And um, the three, the three, I say there's, um, sorry, there's three stories, but four women. We have Mich- Michelle Williams, uh, Laura Dern, Lily Gladstone, um, Kristen Stewart. I won't go through the male, the male characters. There's, there's, uh, there's one or two sort of main ones in there. Um, but it's interesting to note that uh, Michelle Williams, she's, Worked. This is her third time working with the director, who, um, with um, Reinhard, uh, Reichard. Sorry. Um, it's also, uh, I, I guess, a little ironic that she's Michelle Williams has also worked in. Um, it's to be seen in Manchester by the Sea. And she seems to pick independent films, and that's that's a good thing. Um, so yeah, it's um, the film itself. It starts off with Laura Dern's character. Um, we, we, she's a she's a lawyer. She's got a difficult kind of client. Um, she's trying to fight for him, trying to fight for you know to to win his case. But um, I don't want to sort of you know elaborate on that uh, because I really want to just let you let you see it. if you if you see the film. I want you to let you see the see what happens. It, it, I will say in that first part, it has got a you know element of a tiny little crime. You could say a crime, not a crime caper, but more of a um, not, not even a heist, some sort of some sort of thriller element to it. Um, so it's um, yeah, it, that, that's the, that's the first segment of the film. We then see Michelle Williams and her partner who are what it seems to be making a life for themselves in the wilderness or in the outskirts of a town. Uh, this is very, this is very sort of, I think it's more, sm- sort of small, small town America, um, a certain town in America. I, I say, let that be a surprise to you or read it, read up on it or watch the trailer, read, read the reviews. Um, so she's, she's, uh, Michelle Williams' character is very kind of, I guess she's kind of an ethical character. She's, she was trying to build this new, new home for the family. She's got a daughter as well, or they've got a daughter, I believe, him and uh, her and her guy. Um, and then we move on to the third story, which is where we have, um, Lily Gladstone and, um, 
uh, Kristen Stewart. Now, of course, I mentioned her at the beginning. I do hope I, I do hope I said Kristen Stewart, not Kirsten Stewart. I'm not sure why that was in my in my mouth or my brain or my mind. But um, yeah, I mean, Kristen Stewart. Of course, we've seen her recently in Personal Shopper. I've actually done a review of that. If you want to take a listen, it's on a podcast that's comparing Personal Shopper with the film L. So I saw both those films and I make comparisons to them. But yeah, check that out. Check that podcast out if you can. But yeah, so she's in a lot lately. She's she's done a hell of a lot of films. Um, so has Michelle Michelle Williams. One. Well, you know, one's probably been around for longer than the other, but uh, Laura Dern too. You know, these are all big, these are all big names, mostly. Um, so yeah, the th- the third film, uh, sorry, the third segment with Lily Gladstone and Kristen Stewart. Uh, Lily Gladstone is a kind of, I say, loner. She works. She's works for these this, these stables or where she manages these horses in the. Sort of mountainous, snowy area. Well, it's snowy in the film, and I was saying it's snowy all the all the time. And she goes, she attends some classes nearby where Christian Stewart's um, character is uh, running them. She's the kind of tutor, even if she's not that experienced tutor. As she as she admits over both in both in the classroom scene and also in the diner when her and Lily Gladstone uh, go for go for lunch after the. the after the um, the lesson, which actually happens more than once, um, you'll see that in the trailer anyway. A lot of this, you'll you if you've seen the trailer, then you'll you'll know there's there's hints of this already. So the, the th- as I say, the three the three films are vaguely connected, but I really don't want to say uh, why how these stories are connected. But I will say that the the style is very slow. It's very it's natural lighting, which I really like, and it's. Um, it, it's this deliberate, um, let's say, deliberate stills or, or, or holding on one scene, and the the characters might not say a great deal, but it's 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 real it's real life. Well, what I did kind of notice as well um, is that in the going back to the three different segments, the the first the first one with Lorna Dern, her, she's kind of got this character who's who's her client. So in other words. He he's not the main character, but it's a big part in her life. In the second segment with Michelle Williams and her partner and and daughter, there's a, there's an old man who they're trying to buy some sandstone, I believe, off um, to, to to put towards this house, this ethical home that she's trying to make. Um, and in the third one, I guess the stranger is each. It could be the. the, the I guess what I'm trying to say is that each each of the three segments you have kind of an introduction of a, another person. I um, mean, you could say also that if you didn't have that, they'd just be <laughs> they'd just be talking to themselves or playing off themselves. But um, I find that I found that quite sort of interesting that there's you know there's a there's a sort of a, if you like a stranger in each of the segments, even if that stranger in the third part is actually each other. Uh, but the third, the, um, going back to the third and final part with Lily Gladstone and Kristen Stewart, there's that that that's got some great night shots, and I mean, again, I think it's all natural lighting, but never more so than when the 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 there's a there's a bit when Lily Gladstone is driving this long distance to meet uh, Kristen Stewart, or she hopes to, and the car lights coming towards her. There's kind of a buzz in the soundtrack, I think, and the, the lights are kind of... It's natural lighting, but they're, they're done in such a, a way that it looks almost unreal. And perhaps they are, perhaps they're colourised or something, but it's it's very, very good. And in fact, the one of the... Uh, I would say opening scene, but one, a very early scene is with a train along a track and the lights on the front of that train has a similar thing to the lights on the headlights in the cars that we see when she's driving so when she's driving through this long this long journey to hopefully meet Christian Stewart you 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 see these 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 lights she's driving she of course she's going to be tired um and darkness also can make you more tired than daylight anyway but uh the when she reaches this area this town this city um 
I'm, I'm saying it deliberately. I'm not confused whether it's a town or a city, although I'd have to double check. It's just to keep you um, guessing. A bit like with, when I'm writing a review on my website, mini mini movie dot com. I like to keep things as vague as I can at places, so you, you know there's there's certain detail that you don't know. I'm not going to give it all away. Hence, I was just talking about a scene near the beginning. I know when that scene is. Uh, I know exactly when it comes. Um, but it's I'm trying to keep it vague, so you don't think, oh, that 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 second or third scene or first scene is going to be this train or. Anyway, enough explanation about myself and my reviews. Um, so. Yeah, but it was what I was going to say was when when she when she's driving with all those lights and that and she reaches this town city whatever it is this place it, it, she reaches the early hours of the day it was kind of it's, I guess it's around maybe two or three a.m. I don't know maybe a bit early a bit later and it's you know there's 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 certain shops that are not quite open and again it's the light and it's really beautiful in my opinion and it's it's a it's natural lighting. As, as far as I can tell, but it's kind of it's quite good because in the rest of the, the film before that you've seen a lot of daylight, a lot of snow, snow a lot of bleakness. Well, the bleakness is deliberate. I mean, this is throughout the whole film. It's meant to be, I, I suppose. That's especially with some of the characters, the mon- the mundanity, the, you know how mundane it is. With um, especially the Lily Gladstone's character, the loner, with that looks after the horses. So it's quite amusing actually to think when she, when she's on her little uh, oh what are, what is it a little um, four wheeled three wheeled sort of bike trike thing I can't think of the name right now but a little puppy or this dog runs after every every single time it's, it's a nice touch anyway um, but anyway yeah so going back to the um, the scenes where that is that the, the 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 nights the lights are brilliant but oh yeah so just to backtrack the so that's 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 a great contrast to the rest of the film which is all light mostly light you know light scenes uh, whether it's in the city or a small town whether it's in a, the, the the mountainous area the, the farmy area um it's you know that's a nice contrast keeps you keeps you interested get me interested um but yeah, I, I'm, I'm. I'll also mention that not only with those scenes with the the snow, the mountainous area, which is most, I suppose it's most obvious or noticeable, or pretty perhaps even only when it's seen is when we have that character. I keep mentioning the 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 loner. I say loner. I mean lonely ranch hand. She's been described as. Uh, some people say loner, but she's you know she's got a job. She's looking after horses. But one thing I do like about there's a particular part involving her where the, the teacher, uh, Christian Stewart, says she she does the teaching Tuesday and Thursdays, and after the Tuesday session, you you see the, the um, you see Lily Gladstone's character sort of opening up, letting the horses out. That's one day, and you see her doing the same again. So that's two two days, and then you're in Thursday. So it's almost showing you. In of course not real time, but in her real life, this is what she's going through. And even after that, after that second uh, study lesson or whatever you want to call it, tutoring um, the class, she, um, you know, there's even more of those scenes. And I suppose that's to show how how alone she is and how that's just her, her life. And, and maybe this character of Kristen Stewart coming into her life through these lessons was what she needed whether that be I don't know whether that's just as a friend just as someone to talk to could be a a potential lover I don't really know whether there's any you know hint of lesbian in this but it's you know there's there's someone that she's found that she really connects with or is grateful to be around hence driving a little way to meet her later on in the film Um, or she hopes to meet her so yeah, the, the colours, the lights, and all that is brilliant. And there's there's some there's some great scenes where, I mean, again, there's a lot of reflection in with light. There's she there's the with um, Michelle Williams' character and her partner driving on the car, the um, reflection on the window comes and goes. It's dark. You see her. You see Michelle Williams' face, but then you see it in dark because the the way that the scenery is going. 
and there's a couple of other scenes where it does that and there's also another scene I liked which was this same uh, let's say Michelle Williams and partner and daughter segment the second segment where he the partner is reversing the, the vehicle all the way back up this lane and looking behind him looking towards the camera I suppose and it's all in, you know, he's he's reversing that car. Whether or not he's really reversing the car is another matter, but it's, it's done in such a way that it's, it's different, you know. It's different. Um, so I'm just trying to think if I've covered everything there because I, I could probably talk longer about this film. I'm not saying I would rush to see it again, but I would probably see it again. Um, it's um, c- certainly, <laughs> certain, using the word certain women there, um, it's certainly a film that's very interesting. Uh, it, it's definitely not going to be for everyone just because if, everyone's tastes are different and some people like fast-paced things. Um, but it's it's a little under two hours. I suppose it's one hour, 45 minutes, something like that. So it's not it's not really strenuous and arduous. It's, um, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a good film. I can see why people liked it. I'm not sure if it's what I thought it was going to be. But um, it it did the job and it was very satisfactory. And its direction style is different, as I say, natural lighting used um, and other styles of directing. And so it's, um, yeah, I'm going to wrap it up there. I think I've said enough about certain women, um, in particular, <laughs> these three, actually, sorry, four women. I keep saying three because there's there's three segments to the film, but there's four for women incidentally when I went to see the film which again was at my local tricycle theatre there was majority was females but that's not just because of the film but it was quite ironic as you might have seen if you see a something I posted on um, Instagram where I flipped over the um, the ticket which said certain women and then I wrote on it mostly women and then showed the uh, that there were mostly women there on my little video story um i'm gonna yeah leave it at that so um if you do see it i hope you enjoy it i hope you like it um uh, but if you if you like these podcasts then um please continue to listen to them continue to subscribe there's ones about korea south korea ones about music ones about korean music uh, there's ones about well obviously films like this one um there'll be interviews There'll be stuff about travel, um, but it's, you know, um, it's called Flix F L I C K S for those the reasons which can be found underneath this podcast. Okay, I will leave it at that, and um, I bid you all um, farewell and speak to you another time. Goodbye. <laughs>